Here with NECA on day two of training camp. So we're waving now. Are we yeah. waving? Hey, girl. It's dainty. Hey. Dainty, a dainty wave. Okay, <laughs> after running up and down this court, she's giving you a dainty wave. So does what that mean practice was not hard enough today? No, 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 no. Don't get that out. No. Okay, because do I need to go tell the no, coaches? No, 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 no. It was good. It was hard. I'm sore. You I'm need tired. to do some more suicides? No, no, no. I'm good. Okay, you're good. You're good. Okay. <laughs> Talk about day two. I mean, how's your body holding up? I know you were over in China, overseas, so you've been playing. It's not like you were out of shape or anything. So how are you feeling on day two? I'm feeling great. You know, the first thing is all about kind of, you know, seeing new faces and interacting and playing with people that you haven't played with before. But um, today was a lot better. I think that everyone's coming into their own and people are getting more comfortable on the court. But it's, it's wonderful to have some new talent out here and working with them in Los Angeles training camp. Yes, now, you know, you were – the younger player last year, and then the year before, sort the of. rookie. So now... I'm a vet. That's what I'm... Th I mean, especially <laughs> now with so many rookies here at training camp, how does it feel for people to look up to you in, as the older player now? Well, let's not say older. Older. I'm experienced. Okay. So More experienced player, <laughs> yes. No, but uh, it's great. I mean, I'm always... Even when, as a rookie, I'm always down to, you know, have anybody ask me a question. I was probably doing more of the question asking, though, two years ago. And maybe even now, but um, I'm here to help everyone do what they want to do, play better, and have a comfortable training camp and have a fun time because I think LA training camp is always great. And how was China? China was great. It was a cultural experience, I have to say. Um, I ate a lot of rice. A lot of rice. I ate a lot of rice. I, I hear there's not a lot of choices when you're playing in China. No, I was fortunate enough to be in a really good um, kind of metropolis type of area. And so I was in a city that had a lot of options, but I've mastered chopsticks. Like, I don't even use a fork anytime when I eat sushi or any type of So you of have to teach cuisine. me oh, a better yeah. way. Okay. Oh, yeah. So oh, this yeah. season, look for that video, NECA teaching me how to use chopsticks. Chopstick master. I can okay. catch a piece of rice with some chopsticks. <laughs> wow. That is the master. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you're back in L.A. I know last year we did a lot of things in L.A., bike riding, we had Jean Vest, we, we um, had all kind of... Um, we did the WWE, that was awesome. We did WWE, so what have you done since you've been back in L.A. that you missed so much on the off-season? Oh my goodness. Uh, the beach, obviously. It's like super close to us, so that was something that I missed very much. And just walking outside. Walking nice. outside in, in the beautiful <laughs> weather of LA. Yes. And yes. what do you look look forward to most this season? Because there's a, there are a lot of new players and a lot of new faces. And are you looking forward to building those new friendships off the court as well? Absolutely. I'm always down for anybody that wants to have fun on and off the court. And I'm ready to start a new year as a third year and uh, just enjoy winning. And playing hard. Absolutely, because we're going for that championship. Now, last thing we have to talk about is your sister, Shanae. Number one pick, just like yourself. So, of course, you were there. You were able to enjoy the experience and what's with her. But now she's the enemy. Oh, my God. She is, of course, she's not. <laughs> at least she's not in the Western Conference. So you don't have to see her that That's much. That's what I was thankful for. So that is thankful. You don't have to beat up on her, and she doesn't have to beat up on you, vice versa. You know. Yeah. But More so me. What advice, yeah. <laughs> what advice do you give your little sister, who was the number one draft pick and is now playing in this league, with you? I, you know, just told her to have fun, enjoy herself, Chanae. Don't let your rookie year go by fast in a way that you don't really remember what happened. I, I, I always relished in all of the things that we did as teammates and on the court, playing hard, winning games, and just enjoying being in the league as you know a professional. It's a lot different from college. And I always tell her, you know, th these are probably one of the most fun, fun times that you're gonna have. You just heard it, the exclusive right here <laughs> from your LA Sparks, the advice from big sis to little sis for the WNBA. So, Neka, we look forward to following you through this training camp and, of course, on the road to the championship this year. Thanks, Love you. Love you.